What is up guys, Zach Scott here playing Animal Crossing New Horizons. Hello there, everyone. Right now in Astoria, it's 1.12 p.m. on Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. Now for today's announcements. Uh, we have a new friend on our island. Let's give a big Astoria welcome to Apollo. Apollo's here on behalf of your new island family. Welcome aboard. Also, as I mentioned in yesterday's broadcast, Nook's Cranny will be closed today for renovations. That's right. Uh, you know, I've now been playing this game uh, for, I guess, a month. And uh, Nook's Cranny is now going to be expanded. I can't wait. It's going to be until tomorrow until it you know, finally opens and we can check on it and, and stuff like that. But yeah, it's been... I guess we started playing this game uh, looking at the date of the of the release. Uh, you know, March 19th is when I had my first video up. And uh, thanks to you guys, that first episode has now surpassed 2.5 million views. That's all thanks to you guys leaving nearly 50,000 likes. Thank you guys so much for your support on this series. I really do appreciate it. The grand reopening of the new improved Nook's Credit will be tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. And by the way, we got a new update coming out very, very soon tomorrow, and I can't wait to see what else is in store uh, other than the opening of Nook's Cranny. So I don't know if you've seen the trailer, but it's really cool. I'm sure you'll all, you're all all as excited as I am to see how it'll look. Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, and with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. My island. <laughs> no, uh, today, I, I mean, we're going to have a maybe a brief episode. I don't know how long it's going to be, but... Um, Oh, it's raining. Nice, nice, nice. Well, guys, uh, my my announcement today <clears throat> is uh, I think I got the final fossil for the museum. If that's the case, then I'm going to show off the museum. And we're going to have 100% of the fossils complete. I hope that's cool with you guys. Let's check the mail and see what we have here. Uh, so, yeah, Yashi sent me that fossil. We got some gifts. Oh, man, lots of people sent gifts. Come on, all the gifts. No, thank you so much. Uh Thank you for your for your the tour. So much positive feedback uh, for my simple five star island. I was so happy to see it do so well. I appreciate you you so much. We'll continue to work hard. Thanks, Ryan. Work hard. <laughs> and uh, let's let's go in order here. Let's see what we got here. So, uh, oh yeah, I have bells in my inventory. <laughs> I can't sell these fish either today. Uh, what is the present? So let's just open up this present. What did he send me? He gave me an arcade combat game. That's sweet. Thanks, dude. Uh, some of these bells need to go over to Ashley because uh, I borrowed 50k from her before I made my millions. Um, so yeah, this is... Uh, oh, by the way, let's check this tree. By the way, uh, I'll mention this. I uh, I built a new bridge. I did it kind of off camera because I was it was late and the time was about to roll over. I just wanted to get it up, but I wasn't feeling like recording. Uh, you're a superstar. Miss you rumbling around my town. For your cool beachy area. Oh, cool. So Liz sent me, uh, she's the hot dog queen, sent me this. And she also sent me something else. Let's get Liz's other thing. Uh, Rose Bay to help sustain your new six pack. <laughs> and then uh, place that in pocket. And then let's see what uh, she sent. And we got here, uh, this is for the beach. And then this is a shell bet. Nice. Another, I, I don't know if I have one yet. I may not. And then this is a protein shaker bottle. Nice. Got to stay fit. All my shell stuff I've been dropping down here. Uh, let's see if it's a different color or not. Because having multiple shell beds is a good thing. Boom, it is. It's my, I think. Is Yeah, it's my preferred color. In fact, I think. We're going to have a bunch of shell stuff. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Maybe I'll go white. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Uh, so I built a... I, don't, I, don't, I did not actually need to do that. It's raining. Let's. I can't even get up on this thing. Hold on. Excuse me. Yeah, no, no, no fish there. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're going to. Um, I got a Zen bridge here. The other ones are red Zen bridge. I hope it looks good. And then we might have to dig, dig up fossils, but I think we're done with fossils for now. But let me continue checking the mail because we're gonna go turn in this last fossil, the Archaeopteryx. Shad V sent me a couple things from Elemental. The future of seeing turtle <laughs> wanted you to have this lucky bag. I don't know what's in it. Thank you for the lucky bag. Uh, another lucky bag here. This lucky bag should help your Islanders stay in good health. Excellent, man. And then Happy Home Academy sent me something. And then, uh, let's see what it is. Place it in my pocket. And then uh, Lakina sent me, hello, I have a tree to remember cherry blossom season. Really? Really? Let's see what we have here. Lots of gifts from the people I visit on my five-star island tours. I really do. Dang it. Why is it like this? <laughs> Open should be the first one. All right, surveillance camera, creepy. 
<laughs> and then a uh, climbing wall. Interesting. The climbing wall is going to be great for when they eventually have a gym. Open up this present. Uh, this is cypress plant. And what's this? This is a uh, tree standee. Nice. So the tree standee uh, is what we have here. Uh, so so Happy Home Academy sent me this. Tree standee is to remember the uh, to remember the, the spring blossoms, right? Spin it around. There we go. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I don't know where to put that, but that's pretty cool that I have all those stuff. All that stuff. Uh, my flowers. Yeah, I have a couple flowers just to plant there and there. So, I, you know, I can't really sell anything today because the store is closed, but I'm glad they're renovating uh, down here. Hey, guys. Marshall. Oh, she's mad. Hey, how's it going, Sulky? What's the latest? It's that time of day when I really want a snack, but I don't want to ruin my appetite either. Exactly. Exactly. What's wrong? What's wrong? You look at all the colors you're wearing. How's your day going, teacup? Chat with me. Earlier, I could swear I was smelling my dad's pasta salad, so I gave him a call, teacup. All right. She's losing her mind. We got a bridge over here. Let's see how it looks. Let's see how it looks. Nook is yeah, working working hard there. I think the red's going to look good. I hope I made the right call. I, I actually spent like 15 minutes trying to figure out which bridge to put down. But I think I ultimately made the right call. Bushes are coming to this game, by the way. Bushes. Are you excited about bushes? Me too. Because that means uh, maybe I'll put bushes here instead of flowers. I don't know, though. We'll figure it out. And then uh, present. Open it up. Nice. Bells. Thank you. Those are extra. Um, so here's what we have right here. This new I think this bridge looks good here. This is a good color of bridge. I might just leave the fossils in. But we're going to work on expanding this area. Apollo's here. Let's go say hello, Apollo. <laughs> I'll say it just like that. Hello. <laughs> but no, then we're going to go to the museum. Uh, turn in this last fossil. I'm pretty sure it's the last one. See what Blathers has to say. Apollo, welcome to town, buddy. There you are, Zach. You kind of caught me in the middle of set settling in here uh, with all my junk. I'm really grateful you talked me into moving in here, in here back at the campsite. This is going to be fun, Pa. But can we maybe chat more once I'm just a tad more situated? No prop. Apollo is here, guys. I still haven't seen the inside of Cat's house. Uh, I don't know if she's at home. I would have cherries to sell if I could sell. But I can't sell. I don't think Cat's at home. I'll vault on over anyway and talk to some peeps before we go ahead to the museum. What's up, Anka? So good to see you, Meow. I want to chat. It's yet another splendid day on Astoria. Oh, I know I sound unusually chipper, but who can blame me, Meow? One more time, one more time. Uh, I came by for a chat. Now, if I remember correctly, Cat's birthday is coming up soon. Yes, let's not forget that on the 27th of this month, we must all celebrate Mee Meow. All right, Cat. I don't think she's home. No, she's out and about. That's okay. Oh, uh, let's plant our, you know, even though I have tons of money now, let's uh, take out uh, 10,000 bells and plant them in, in the money tree spot. There we go. And then uh, let's face this way. 10,000 is going in the ground, my friends. Boom. All right. And then, uh, yeah, I can't wait to figure out what the updates are about tomorrow. It's going to be so exciting. Oh, there's already some weeds on the floor. Sticks have fallen. No one's at the campsite. That's good. <laughs> um, so, yeah, let's, uh, let's just head over to the museum then. Oh, dude, you're here. I don't think I have any bugs, though. Oh, hey, remember me, Flick? The guy who loves bugs and all their skittery, chittery, sometimes glittery glory? I'm still looking for my soul bug. The one to be my artistic inspiration and lift me to ever more art. So if you find a bug, will you sell it to me? I can pay a little extra. No price is too high for my chittinous kindred. And that's any bug. Devotion with conditions isn't devotion at all. Oh, and if you're um, interested in my art at all, just let me know. Actually, I am interested in his art. I will, uh, I'll be, I'll be right there. I'll be right back. Uh, I might have enough. Uh... Anyway, I haven't quite finished the museum area yet. This is going to take a while, but uh, at least I have it positioned up here. When it's done, you're going to see how glorious it is. But let's go in. Uh, I got the staircase here. I got uh, this bridge here. This looks good. And the bridge is... Now I can start building stuff over here. I don't know what's going to go over there right off the bat. I don't know yet. But uh, we'll figure it out. Maybe a neighborhood. Maybe something else. I don't know. 
we could probably just put start putting in the neighborhood that way. And they can all live there by the river. Because if you're living on an island, wouldn't you rather live off of the river <laughs> rather than the beach? <laughs> the shops go on the beach. No. I don't know. I mean, if I put it there, it won't be... I don't know if I can fit all ten houses. I don't know if I want to fit all ten houses. But we can fit like nine. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. Uh, let's go see Blathers really quick. And we're going to get a good complete tour of this the fossil section of this museum if uh, if i'm done that is who who oh dear pardon me why hello zach welcome to the astoria museum how may i be of service i'm now ready to make a donation uh this came from casual games he sent it to yashi then yashi sent it to me uh so this is the archaeopteryx i think i'm pronouncing that one right let's see though Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> Could it be? It is! An Archaeopteryx. I never thought I'd lay eyes upon such a well-preserved Archaeopteryx. Dear me, might I give you a short presentation on the topic? I'm quite knowledgeable, you know. Please. Please do. Wonderful. Tis fascinating stuff, I assure you. Now, where to begin? Archaeopteryx's feathers led many people to believe it was the, uh progenitor of the birds and what sadly further evidence indicates it's likely not a direct ancestor more an evolutionary uncle if you will every time a specimen is found new theories pop up and new relatives come to roost in the family tree and there you have it fascinating stuff no rest assured all donations are displayed in a timely manner you have my gratitude Hoo -hoo, is it true the final fossil has been found it has it has indeed huzzah <laughs> ah zach before you took up the task ours was but a bare bones collection <laughs> a bit of museum humor for you there <clears throat> yes that is to say thank you for your commitment to collecting and donating fossils our humble museum's reputation is growing because of you well thank you blathers uh so is there anything else to do i mean i'm not gonna I don't have any fossils from to assess. I think there's like six in the ground that I could go dig up, but they're all going to be dupes. And uh, so let's then take a tour. As promised, we will take a tour of this glorious fossil area. 100% complete. For now, I mean, they could, I feel like they could add on more rooms. They could add more fossils. I don't know, but let's check it out. We're going to walk through this. So first up, the first thing I noticed, oh, cat's here. Cat, hello. What a weird looking critter. It's like something out of a bad sci-fi movie. Hey, you donated this fossil, right? That's pretty rocking of you. Everyone can see it, Purdy. Now everyone can see it, Purdy. How long was this buried? She doesn't want anything. Oh, no, wait. Yeah? What's up, Purdy? I want to chat. Some of these critters were around when the world was mostly water. Can you imagine what their world would have been like besides wet? I mean, the world now is mostly water, right? <laughs> um, anyway. We have, uh, so the things in the glass, this is like a cucumber? No. The thing, it's Pickle Rick? No. Uh, the, uh, things in the glass are not things I've donated. That, that confused me at first, because I was like, I don't remember donating a plant. But no, so the things here on the pedestals, and plus, uh, well, not, not these sharks, though, I don't think. Uh, and plus, uh, we'll see. Let's see, let's look at the science. Here we go. Uh, this says, and I'm gonna butcher a lot of pronunciations of these, so bear with me. This is the trilobite. That over there is the animal, animalocorus. <laughs> uh, this right here, uh, and that's it. So the trilobite and the animalocorus. Okay, cool. And then over here, there's another sign. We have uh, the ammonite, and then we have the amber. I need another amber. The amber looks really cool. Over here, we have uh, this is an acanthostega. This is a shark tooth pattern. And then over here, we have what? We have the Mylocunmingia. We have the uh, Dungliosteus. <laughs> and we have the Eusthenopteron. Eusthenopteron. <laughs> I think. Very cool though, right? I mean, that's good. Now, this is where the museum gets big, big. Lots of big, big fossils in here. And when I was looking through the museum before, I missed the Archaeopteryx because it, you'll see why. So first up, let's just look at the big, big exhibit right here. Oh no, let's save the best for last. Those aren't necessarily the best. I like the T-Rex the best, but hey, check it out. 
This is the Ophthalmosaurus. <laughs> uh, this is the Plesiosaurus. And that's the Archelon. I think that's how you say that. And then over here, this is the Quetzalcoatlus. Quetzalcoatl <laughs> and this is the Pteranodon. Very cool. And uh, Mouse gave me a bunch of the, the pieces for that. My friend Mouse, we play Splatoon with. Uh, this is Stegosaurus. And this is Ankylosaurus. Very cool. Now, these guys are cool too. This is the Iguanodon. And that's the Parasaurophilus. <laughs> I think. This is a uh, Pachycephalosaurus, I think. And this is the Triceratops. Look at the, the horns on that guy. And then over here, we got the Spinosaurus. We got the Coprolite. And the Dinosaur Track. Up here we got T-Rex. It's a thing of beauty. Now this is what I missed. I didn't see this, this blank space here before. This is the Deinonychus, whatever. <laughs> the Archaeopteryx. I'm pretty sure that's how you say that one. And then uh, the big, big things in the room. Well, first up, we got this guy. It's not so big, big. We got the Demetri uh, Demetrodon. We got this little dude, the Jeremiah. And then up here, this is this is where they get big, big. Diplodocus. I think that's how you say it. Diplodocus. And then uh, right here, this is big. The Brachiosaurus. That's huge. That is so huge. I like it, though. And then if you come in here, there's another room with fossils. And uh, what do we got here? We got the mammoth. Mammoth. We got these aren't necessarily these are like saber tooth tiger. Like these are like the non dinosaurs or something. Uh, Megacerops. Looks kind of like a rhino. And that's the Megaloceros. And then over here. Uh, Austral Australopith, Australopith, I guess. That looks, I mean, that looks like a, an ancestor of humans right there. And here's a bunch of animals from Animal Crossing. <laughs> Pretty interesting. That better not be Eugene. That might be Apollo right there. So yeah, um, museum's complete for now. Well, not the museum, I'm sorry. The fossil section of the museum is complete for now. I no longer have to dig up fossils. I still will, because they can sell. And plus, my friends might need some deli. What are you doing here? The jelly muncha is so small, I guess all the dinosaurs weren't huge during the olden days, huh? Blathers is telling everybody how you're the one who found this fossil. That's so cool, Zach. You must be really proud, huh? Yeah, I guess so. I'm a proud papa. All right, so we're gonna go out of here. And uh, you know, I think we, we pretty much, I mean, I still gotta do a lot of terraforming. There's still a lot that I wanna do. Uh, in terms of this, um, I want to go to my my home. I think I have three of the hermit crabs. I could get another another one of those things made, another one of those uh, statues, sculptures made of the hermit crab. It's raining today. What about our dailies? How are we how are we doing on our dailies here? Uh, let's go. No, we're not doing well at all. <laughs> but here we go. Dream house. A home that you build yourself gives you greater livability. It's on a whole other level. I'll give Nook Miles to those who build to expand their home to, to taste the good life. There we go, right there. Basement backbone. 5,000 Nook Miles right there. So, uh, let's check out the... Uh, let's check out this store really quick, and then we'll go to our uh, place. There's an announcement on the board that we'll get to. And hey, well, hello there, Zach. Your home has a proper basement now, does it not? You won't find many folks with a home as impressive as yours, which brings us to, I know, the cost of your remodel. That'll be 2.5 million bells, essentially. Ah, yes, please make your payments using the Nookstop's ABD feature. As you've done before, now I won't be able to expand your home any further, but I must say, it's been a pleasure serving you. All right, great. Thanks, buddy. Uh, whoop. <laughs> uh, portable radio. Don't want. That's okay. Welcome to the Nook Stop. So we get 300 bonus miles for this, of course. And then uh, let's see what's in store for us today. 
We got uh, iron fence and spiky fence. We don't need either one of those. Um, you know, I could probably order some more street lamps, but they won't be here until tomorrow. So if I do order street lamps, I'll just do it off camera. And then we got uh, Nook Shopping. Special goods. We got, uh, well, I can afford that one now. <laughs> Let's place the order. And then uh, I think everything KK Marathon. I don't think we have this one. I'll place the order. And then, uh, let's see. Oh, you know what? Also, I know I have this. I have that. I don't have this, though. And then, uh, market. I don't have this either. This one's interesting. Okay, motor sign. This is all going to be sent to the mail. I don't know what to do. Oh, only five orders per day. Darn it. Oh, well. Now, let's look at the ABD. Um, we could pay off our loan. We could probably just pay off our loan right now. Loan payment, pay from savings, full amount, my friends. Full amount, hold on. There it is. I still need to deliver a whole bunch of stuff from um, from my house. I have like seven million in my house right now. They're all clapping, you should be happy. What do I wanna do? Well, hello, hello there, Zach. My goodness, you've done it. You've paid off your home renovation loan in full again. As of this moment, you're debt free and set for for life in an amazing spacious island home. Yes, yes. I know you're just waiting for me to offer you another expansion, but we've reached the end of that. But I have something else to offer you for free, of course. Nook Inc. guarantees our work for life, and as a small token of our appreciation, we are proud to offer you a lifetime of free exterior renovations. Limit one per day. Terms and conditions apply. Yes, yes. I'm legally required to say that. I hope Nook Inc. can still be of service for you for years to come. And once again, congratulations. So. This is exciting. Let's see what I want to do to my exterior um, about my home. I was thinking about changing the roof color, but uh, let's customize it. Let's place the yes, please. Excellent. Then I'll show you our design catalog and choose from what you like. What, what, great. So this is interesting. Red tile roof, not pink. Yellow looks pretty good. Uh, I kind of like the orange. That's kind of a cool thing. I kind of like that, too. Man, I like some of these curved shingles. That's pretty nice. The stone roof is interesting, but I think I like the curved. And thatch roof, I don't know, man. Probably not the thatch roof. The curved roof, though, looks pretty cool. Um, I might go green curved. Yellow, at the very least, I should move from yellow tiles, maybe to, to yellow curved. That's pretty fancy. Uh, if I were to move to yellow. Of course, orange I think looks great. Uh, the brown looks wonderful too. Uh, and black is okay. Black, I mean, looks more modern. Brown does too. I don't know. And then, oh cool, you can see what it looks like day and night. That's pretty sweet. Okay, uh, brick-wise, we can do, um, these are siding. Okay, so we can like really spruce up our house. Huh. Some of these are too complicated. Oh, the cobblestone looks neat. Huh. Kind of liking the idea of the cobblestone. I mean, I could like, to a stucco looks pretty modern too. I don't know what to go with. Stucco looks perhaps too modern. But then the, then the cobblestone looks kind of gaudy. <laughs> but still, uh, let's see. I could go. I mean, this is looking like uh, living like in ancient times or something. I mean, that's kind of cool, but. Dude, I don't know what to do. Too many options. That's kind of cool. And then the door, window door. Yeah, I guess we live in a safe area, right? But I can have an iron grill door. Or a walnut lattice door. Man. That's pretty cool. Mailbox, rustic. We can have a, a large mailbox, although I think I like the rustic look. But we could also go with, uh, instead of a large mailbox, we can go with one of these. That looks pretty cool. Let's look at the roof one more time then. If we're gonna change up the roof, let's, uh, 
Can I do a red roof? I can't, they don't make a red curb shingles? They have a red stone roof. Red tile roof, I mean that's pretty, that's pretty bold. What do you guys think? How come they don't have red elsewhere? Anyway, that's pretty bold. Um, what do you guys think of this? This looks pretty cool. Actually, there's a lot to do. Red. Imper there's a lot of door variety. Iron door. What the heck? There's a lot of... There's a lot of door variety. The rustic's a little bit too rustic. Iron door is a little bit much as well. The Imperial looks pretty cool. Um, this also looks cool. I don't know. I think I like the... I think... Uh, okay. This is pretty cool. This looks like good overall, right? I think this looks good overall. I don't know about the, the siding color, but... <laughs> well, let's take a look around at the siding color. I don't know, man. Uh, the bluish is okay. What about this? That's kind of cool. Um... I mean, that does look pretty cool, pretty modern. Were we going with the stucco? I don't think so. We're going with that, right? I think I like that the best. Let's let's just say uh, confirm. I mean, I can completely redo this later. Interesting design choice. I'll make sure that construction is done by tomorrow morning. If you're like me, you're already excited. All right, that took a little bit of time. <laughs> But I'm gonna have a brand new looking house tomorrow. I, I don't know, you know, we might change it up later. It's, it's kind of ultra colorful. Let's read the bulletin board, there's a bird here. Uh, renovation notice, thanks for your, to your support. We're going to remodel the shop. We knew this, we knew this. And Cat's birthday is coming up as well. So, uh, let's drop in. Zach over here, what's up, Pingo? Being able to rock a fab smile, major life skill, Zach. Check this out. Boom, smiles, come on, Zach, smile with me. Happiness reactions are awesome. Let's go smile at people all day. Some folks find that unsettling. <laughs> all right, do a smile. Where's my smile? Learn the happiness reaction. Time to put some smiles on some faces. All right, that's pretty cool. Abel sisters, we're gonna talk to them. And then we're gonna go get our hermit crabs and, and have Flick make an art of them. Everything should be in stock tomorrow. There's a gas mask, dude. This, well, why don't we just wear gas masks? All right, uh, sup? Oh, Zach, I was hoping you'd come by today. I made a new pattern fabric for you to try on your custom furniture. Man, she is, she is up and up. I don't know how much furniture you customize, but I hope this helps. I customize zero furniture, but thank you. Hey, we made it to Wednesday, halfway through the week. I always figure that if you can get to Wednesday, the rest of the week is easy. It's like sewing downhill. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get a new look, a fresh new look. I need the fitting room. Let's do it. Uh, I get a sports jersey. A business suit coat. There you go. That's what I need. Some business. Could look like... Uh, there we go. I don't know which looks best. That's... There we go. We could go to a sweater on shirt. Do we have any business pants? We, have dra we finally have dress pants. But they don't match. I guess they don't have to match. I can dress like Andy from The Office. <laughs> uh, let's see, and then, uh, what the heck is this? What the heck, dude? Am I from Handmaid's Tale or something? What is this? Gas mask is also creepy. All right, let's, uh, let's walk out of here with this. So what kind of shoes do we want? Work boots. Vinyl, no. All right, we're good, we're good. Here we go. Let's just wear what I picked out. Everything's looking good. <laughs> okay. I don't I don't think I actually want to wear the cast mask. I look too creepy. Creeping myself out too much. But I can I could maybe need it. There we go. I'm the business king. <laughs> I don't know. Thanks. Please come again. Alright, so let's go get our hermit crabs. We'll take them to Flix. To have them turn into a model or something. And then uh it should be all good. And I went with the Red Zen Bridge. Like, I feel like this is more like a rustic area out here, but in town, everything was kind of red. So I went with the Red Zen Bridge, and I think it ends up looking good. 
I don't know what we're gonna build next. We might need to low re start building neighborhoods or whatnot. Uh, you know, we got the incline here. It's looking good in my view. I think this is looking great. This area is looking wonderful. I don't know what we're gonna build here, but we're gonna continue building it out. And yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys want me to start focusing on because I still got a lot to do in this town. You know, gotta push it to five stars eventually, right? My house is gonna change dramatically tomorrow. There we go. Boo -doo 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 -boo. All my bells. And I got a basement too now, right? My house is looking pretty fantastic. It's empty. But looking good. <laughs> what were we doing? Oh yeah. So, uh <laughs> let's put a put some uh, protein shaker bottle in storage. Surveillance camera in storage. Climbing wall in storage. Cypress plant in storage. Tree standy. Arcade combat. Thank you. The arcade's gonna be coming along good, I'm sure. Um, then we look in storage. Well, what do, do I have enough creatures? Oh yeah, I look at all the storage I have. I have so much space. I don't gotta worry about space for the short time. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. I'm gonna at least sell one, and then have the rest turned into another statue. Then I'll have two hermit crab statues. <laughs> So, thanks everyone who helped me out collecting the fossils. Uh, Flick. We're looking for Flick, right? And he was over here last time I saw him. No idea where he is now, though. And I hope you guys are enjoying the progress of this series. We're actually making a lot of decent progress, in my opinion. I don't know where Flick is. There's another weed. That was a bug. <laughs> there aren't too many bugs out at this moment. It's great when he's here when there's like butterflies everywhere. I've got to check the beach. Flick, where you at, bro? I don't even know where he is. Dude's hard to find. So many sticks. Okay, yeah, Flick, I don't know where you're at, buddy. Another weed. Get these weeds out of here. Uh, let's climb down. I don't know where the world Flick is. There's a balloon here, though. We can grab that. This doesn't bother me. In fact, I want to grab this. Got it. A gift from the heavens. Open it up. We got uh, another 5,000 bells. You know, we can combine some. We can actually uh, put these away. And I need to send Ashley some bells as well. Dude, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh my gosh, Flick! <laughs> where is he? Like seriously, I don't know where Flick is. He's gonna be here till 5 a.m. Where do these guys like to hide? You know what I mean? Uh, excuse, excuse me. Is there anything over here to catch? There is. Here we go. Let's catch this. Whatever this is. I don't know. If this will be something new. But let's see. Nope, it's just a dab. Are you can Do I not? How do I get space here? I gotta find Flick and commission the hermit crabs. Here's a message in a bottle. And we'd be talking. Uh, let's open this up. This is from Huck. It's a wooden double bed. Interesting. I can probably customize that with some of the some of the things that she's given me. Dude, I don't know where Flick is at all. 
Why does he gotta be like this? I don't no, not the vaulting pole. Alright, the ladder. Alright, so flick. Man, I might just have to I hate when I can't find somebody. I need to attach like a geolocator on some of these people. So I can track them down. No! God. Flick! <laughs> Where are you? Why why would he do this to me? Anka, where's Flick? Do you ever... Oh, there's another money tree that we can shake down. Let's just chop this one down. We can have a trio of... Uh, a trio of stumps here. Dude, I don't know where the heck Flick is. Jump over here, jump over. Maybe he's up here and I didn't see him. I can't believe so much of this. This is gonna be me trying to freaking find Flick. But Flick left, I guess. I don't know. I don't know where the heck he could be. There he is. There's Flick. Hiding out in the open, I see. So here we go. Uh, what's up? If an, yeah, I know. Here we go. I got... I got. Uh, let me ask about your art. Here we go. Tell me about your art. And uh, once more, we're talking the Hermit Crab. And part with three of them. Yes, please. All right, great. And this will be... Um, this will be a great find. Alright, he's gonna mail it to me. So, uh, I think we've done a good thing today. I need to just destroy this because this is just in the way. Okay, let's just do it. Let's just start like this. It's just this. Flick, move. It's not even a lot of. Oh, dang it. Do I have any fruits on me? I'll destroy it later. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, it's been an exciting. Well, hold on, what did we get done today? Hitting rocks? Nice. It's been an exciting episode. Be sure to come back next time for some more. I will uh, see you then. We've got a lot in store. A new update is coming out tomorrow, I believe. So yeah, it's going to be exciting. I'm Zach Scott. Subscribe if you have not. If you like this video and want to help this channel grow, all you got to do is click the like button below. Thank you so much for watching. You can now join and become an official member of Zach Scott Games. And if you want cool shirts like this, visit ZachScott.shop.